Ladies and gentlemen, it is therefore my absolute delight to formally declare the launch of the Bromsgrove Repair Cafe today! Thank you. This is the Repair Cafe for Bromsgrove. We've been going quietly for six months now, but now we're ready to shout about what we're doing. So, we have seven sections here. We have the cafe, we have the electrics and electronics section, we have the bicycle mending section, we have the mechanical section, we have the tool sharpening section, we have the carpentry section, we have a very big sewing section, which is going to be very busy this week, and we also have the reception. And today people have had to queue up at reception where they sign a disclaimer saying they realize that we can't guarantee to help them, that we can't necessarily fix their item. But usually we do, and we hope you'll come on the first Saturday of every month and join us with your broken items. And we run the Repair Cafe. Um, it's a, such an important um, uh, thing, that the Repair Cafe, in terms of the community. Um, because people can bring stuff here and they can be uh, looked at for free. Um, we don't ask um, only, only contributions. And as you see, we're very busy today, so um, uh, people can come in, they have to wait a bit. But my job, I'm the runner. So basically, um, I meet people as they come in and work out um, talking to them what needs to be done and then try and find an appropriate person amongst the repairers um, for actually doing the job. Um, so it's quite involved, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but there you go. Um, I enjoy it. Hello, I'm Brenda Killigrew, and uh, I've got a business base locally in Bromsgrove, which is all base drain sewing, a uh, sewing shop and a college. And I'm one of the volunteers that comes along to the Bromsgrove Repair Cafe, which is on the first Saturday of each month. Um, it's a very exciting project that's run all over every town and nationally. I've got my lovely other volunteers, we're all here. Caroline is quite new to my left here. Way to Caroline, then Edwina, uh, who's to my left. Um, and we're just uh, passionate about uh, keeping things, particularly in our area, textiles, which is very wasteful, um, out of landfill and doing repairs and stopping the sort of throwaway society we have currently in the clothing area. Um, so that's our main remit. We do lots of uh, zip repairs, are very popular today. Uh, and we have other challenging um, items to repair sort of every, every time we're here, every month. So um, it's exciting and a great place to be. We are thrilled that this is our official opening today and so pleased that so many people have come out. Uh, we, our plans for the future are to improve what we've got, to get more repairers in, uh, three different repairers today were asked uh, if they could repair jewellery and unfortunately at the moment we can't. And uh, our future plans are to keep going and get better and be able to repair even more things. At the moment there are a few things that go out that we can't help uh, so we really want to make that better. And I think that if we can invite more people in get more repairs done and save anything going to landfill. I just think it's going to be great. It'd be really, really exciting to see more people coming on down. I bought two dining room chairs into the repair cafe because they were falling apart and needed to be glued together, which is beyond my skill. It was important because we've got a set of eight dining room chairs and the alternative was to replace all eight so that it goes with the rest of the dining room furniture and this will really help us. Well I've turned up here at the 
Bromsgrove Repair Cafe, and I've actually brought some things of my own that uh, I needed sorting out. I had a pair of shorts where the, uh, the pocket had gone, and as I was cycling, my wallet would disappear down my leg. So I've had that sorted out very nicely. Um, I've also brought in a radio that wasn't charging properly, a portable radio. Um, and they've shown me it's actually the charger that's, uh, that's duff. So unfortunately that wasn't repairable, but um, they've shown me where I can get a new charger. I'm absolutely delighted with the crack that's going on here. Um, it's such a good buzz that's happening. Um, and really, I will, be co I will be coming back again. I'm humbled, genuinely, and honoured to come along to this tremendous, uh, exciting uh, project that has been launched. Um, I understand it's been running in Redditch, which I'm quite jealous of, um, for nearly 15 years, I believe, and I, I do hope this, this means that this will carry on in Bromsgrove. Bromsgrove is a wonderful place to live, and in my nearly 15 years that I've lived here, I've come to know a lot of people, and most of them are really, really nice people. Bromsgrove people are friendly and supporting, and we've got a good community spirit in everything that gets done around the town, it's always fully supported. And that's thanks to people like yourselves who make time and take their social time and give it to a lovely project like this. So I wish you all well, and I should be coming along. I did bring a little brush and pan to be repaired, but uh, it might be a television next time. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.